Hey YouTube, today we're going to learn how to create an active download request from File Exchange. The first thing you need to do is be in your File Exchange Center. There are a few reasons why you may want to create a download report of your active items. Perhaps you want to see the quantity available for your listings, maybe you want to update um, custom labels, things like that. The first thing you're going to want to do is to actually create the report. You can do that either by this link right here, or you can go over here to download files. And for your listings and records, this is where you're going to select what kind of report you want to create. Let's go with active. The standard version is going to be kind of truncated in the sense that if you have variations, it's not going to show you that variation level detail. If you're wanting to see the variation level detail, you'll need to go to File Exchange and leave it on Revised Price and Quantity. You may want to do the Revised Price and Quantity uh, regardless if you're planning on revising any aspect of quantity, custom label, titles, things like that. So we'll leave it on File Exchange, Revised Price and Quantity. We want to see all active listings. You put in your email address because you're going to receive a, an email when your report's been generated, and then you're going to click Save. It'll tell you, okay, we've created your download request, your request number is such and such. Eventually, when your report has been generated, you'll receive an email, and what you need to do is go back to your File Exchange Center, and this time you're going to select Completed Downloads. You can see for now, that it is still in progress, which is why I don't have anything to click on. Once the file has been completed, however, under the results column, it will say download. There'll be a link there to download a CSV spreadsheet. Okay, we went ahead and refreshed the page, and now you can see the file is complete. So I'm going to click on download. I'm going to open the file. Okay, so the file is open. Let's go ahead and maximize. And we will make our rows bigger. Technically, the action column doesn't need to be this big. Let's go ahead and change that just so we can see some other stuff. So this is what the report looks like. It has your action of revise. It has the item IDs. A word of advice about item IDs. Every time you download a file that has the eBay item number, it's going to show up as this scientific equation, this formula. You need to format the column each and every time you open the file and before you save the file. So you just, just a habit you need to get into, working with any kind of revision or ending items within file exchange, always you must format first before saving. And that's every time the file gets opened. So you're going to go as a number with zero decimals, click OK, and now you can see the actual number. Now, if you open the file and you decide to format your item IDs, you do it as a number with zero decimals, and you see a random number in here with a bunch of zeros at the end, that means that at some point that you saved the file with that scientific equation prior to formatting it. If you even do that one time, it's going to save the item IDs incorrectly and then you'll have to go back to your original download file, try to get the item numbers again, make sure they're matching up to the right line items. It's just a huge pain. So always get into the habit. Open a file, format the item ID each and every time, and then you can save it. Doesn't matter how many times you open and close it, that is always gonna be the step that you take first. So you can see here that I've got my titles. I've got the site it's listed on, the currency, start price, buy it now price, quantity, relationship, relationship details. The relationship and relationship details are your variations. This is the parent row. These are all the children. They're actually the variations themselves. And then the custom label. So this is, this is it. This is the information that you get when you create a download request. It's not going to give you description. It doesn't give you payment information, returns, shipping, nothing like that. It's going to give you your price, your quantity, relationship details. If you do the other active download report, it gives you your start date. It does not actually give you the bulk of the listing, though. And that's how you create an active download request within File Exchange. 
keep watching for more videos on how to build up your eBay arsenal.